Welcome back to the channel. We are in a series called Summer with Craft, and I'm so glad you're here for episode two. This is the third episode in the series. We started with episode zero, talking all about using craft. Last week, episode one, we talked about building a foundation, building a system that all these things can live on. Today, we're going to talk about note making and links inside of craft. If you're not using craft and you're using another app, this still applies in principle and theory, but it would work really well if you you were using craft. So I'm going to share my screen and share this with you. And I think it will help if we just walk through this together. I got several comments asking for more information about linking. And so you are in luck because this is your episode. I was already planning this anyway, so it worked out perfectly. I'm just going to walk you through linking and note making in craft. So if I pull up this note, this is the note that I started with when I had this idea for Summer of Craft. You can see I just even left the title. I was mowing the yard and thought about this and jotted it down. Eight weeks to fix your note making system. And this is where things are going to really start to take shape. Uh, so we did episode zero, episode one, and now we're in week two. And I'm just going to pull this up. And I took notes on that earlier. What is note making? I found this article that was really helpful. Note making is kind of all the rage. Zettelkast in all these different ways of capturing information. Nick Milo has a website called Linking Your Thinking, and people like Curtis McHale are working through Zettelkast in. So many great people online that have helped me form some of these ideas. And this is this is not the de the most detail that we're going to get into, but I wanted to give you some real world examples of how I'm using craft to link notes and to make notes that mean more than just a scratch pad, okay? And so the beginning of this was this idea of note making. Now, if you don't know how to link in craft, all you need to do is hit the at symbol, and now things are gonna start popping up. And there's this note that I just had. And you can see if I hover over it, it's gonna give me this little kind of hyper card looking thing. And then if I clicked on it, it would open up a note, which I already have one in here. And so this was an article I pulled in from Safari. You can see it right here from this Nest Labs website. It's a really great article. I will link that in the description below because it's worth reading. But you don't need to watch me read an article. That doesn't, that's a waste of your time. We're talking about making the most of your time. I pulled that in and then started taking notes and making notes about note taking and note making and had some quotes, had some different thoughts. And you can see here at the bottom of the page that it is linked to two different things. And it's actually the same note, right? You can see it's inside of here. What is note making? There's that and there's that. If I click back here, you can see it linked twice. Now, if I delete this and I go to this page, you'll notice that it's only linked once now. And so links are these little hooks that get stuck together. And if you change the name of a page, it will change everywhere, which is really helpful. If you delete a page, it will delete it everywhere. They're, they're stuck together, not just by name or association, but by a link. Now, this is really useful for me in a couple different ways. One of those ways is in my, and let me pull it up here, web clipping and articles. So I use Safari Reader for a lot of things, which is really useful, except that's where notes go to die because I never read them again. So I've started pulling in things that are useful here into this web clip and article folder. Now these are just notes and some of them I've taken notes on them and then others are maybe just a note. Here's one I used recently, which was called Parkinson's Law. I kept hearing people talk about this idea called Parkinson's Law, and I kept forgetting the name of it. And I would try to tell someone about this idea, and I couldn't remember the name. And so I just made a new note inside this web clipping, called it Parkinson's Law, found the Wikipedia article, and put a quote here. Now, uh, Parkinson's Law is the idea that work expands to fill the time available for its completion. So that means if you have five hours to do a project, it's probably going to take you five hours to do a project. If you have 10 hours, it'll take you 10 hours. The work always expands to meet the time available for completion. So uh, some people like to procrastinate to the last minute to get something done. I'm guilty of this. There have been times that I've needed to get something done and hours or minutes before it needed to be finished. I suddenly had a spark of energy and, a, and a, an excitement, uh, a thing that I could share, and suddenly I got it done, right? Because work expands to fill that time. So I linked to this. Now, 
I added this in this real world example. So if I click here, it's gonna open up this card. And you can see the hierarchy here. We're in Summer of Craft, we're in episode two. So if I go back here, it was right here in a real world example. And so here's what I was just talking about. I kept hearing people talking about Parkinson's Law and I couldn't remember, so I made a page. I did some research, I took some, some thoughts about the theory. And so now when I read an article, about Parkinson's law. Let's see there's an let's see if there's an article about how, you know, some study showed that if you work 32 hours a week, you can get just as much done as you did in 40. How does that happen? Well, Parkinson's law is probably part of that, and they're probably going to reference that. So if I made a new web clipping, I could talk about that as I made that note because note making is all about adding your own flavor and distilling those notes down to what's actually useful for you. This is a great way to do that. And on top of that, I made this other page called Authors. Now, Authors is a is basically just a bunch of blank, well they look blank, but all they are are a place where I can link to something else. So if I look at Joanna Stern's page, she wrote this article called Stop with Video Chat Already, Just Make a Voice Call, all about how, hey, we don't always need to do video chats. I can click here and see that content, and it's an article that I link to. I need to go back and fill this out, right? I need to go add some of my notes and my own flavor and thoughts to this. But I'm linking back to her because the next article that I read from Joanna I want to link that back to her because sometimes I might just want to look through the author page and see, oh, what did they write about? I've got these for Kerry Newhoff. He had several articles that I've linked to recently. This one is a video. This one is an article. I think all three of these are articles. And so if I just want to look into, uh, what was that article that Kerry wrote? I can't remember what it was called, but I remember who wrote it. Well, here's a way that I've linked them together. Or... I could find the article and think, hey, that was really good. Who wrote that? So if I looked at this and read this, then we'll use Joanna again as, as an example. Oh, this was a really great article. Oh yeah, Joanna Stern wrote that. Well, I could click here on her page and see what else I've linked to her. Right now that's just one, but eventually there will be more. And that's the whole idea of note making and building these living systems inside of craft versus just putting something in and never thinking about it again. So how does this work? I want to utilize those links, right? There's ideas, there's theories, there's this living content that we're working on and I want to make the most of that. And craft makes that super easy. As you just saw in some of those quick examples, I'm linking an author to a book or a book to an author, an article to a person or an idea in an article like Parkinson's Law to something else. I'm pulling all those things together and utilizing those links to make the most out of my system. Now, how does this work? You take time. That's the second thing. You take time to make your notes better. So after you go to that meeting, after you finish your class, after you finish your research for the day or the week or the month or this project that you're working on, take some time and really do that note making practice of distilling that information down into important things that matter to you. Just because you have a note doesn't mean it's good, but it's good that you have a note and you can make it better if you take the time to do that. And then you want to put that information to work. You want to give action steps and make it actionable. In a good note system that's a great ecosystem for you, you're going to constantly be creating action steps for you and linking is a great way to do that. So if we come back here why is craft good for this, right? This seems like a good idea. Maybe you'd like to try note making and you'd like to do links. Why is it good in craft? Well, here's a couple things. One thing is it's easy to add another instance of craft. All you have to do is hit command shift N. And here in just a second, it's gonna pop up with another window. You can see it right here, kind of spilling over off the screen. Now I can work in this window and in this window and changes that I make just happen across all of the 
windows. I have another one open off screen too as well. You can have multiples on your Mac and then on your iPad you can as well. If you're working on your iPad and you have a keyboard attached, just hit Command Shift N. It's going to pop one right over and slide over and now you can drag and drop things between notes. It's a great way to do that distilling process if you have an article pulled up or some notes on one side and a to-do list or a daily note on the other you can pull things back and forth so easily. You can also link a block of text and not just a full note. And so if I type the at symbol again, we can see here's some of the things we've recently linked or looked at. These are notes. These are some of these daily notes that have meeting notes. But if I come down here, let's just say I type the word thought. If I come here and start typing, and I type the word thought, Everywhere that I have the word thought, it's going to give me that little snippet. And then I can stick that into this page. So if I clicked right here, this is one I talked about last week. I wanted to find an idea and I was able to locate that thought in seconds. Now if I click on this, it's going to open that up right here and highlight where I was. And so you can link not just a page, but a single block or a word or a phrase or an idea. And that is super, super powerful. If you want to make the most of your note taking system using links and these actionable steps and this note making idea, again, I'll link that article down in the description as well. These are the things that are going to put those little hooks in. It's going to help you create that system that really works for you and not against you. Linking things together, it doesn't create more friction. It just creates more connectivity. And that's what it's all about. You can do this in other apps. Obsidian has a great mapping thing where you can see all the threads actually connected to one another. Craft doesn't have that, but it doesn't need that because it links the things that I need it to link. And it's so easy to find what I'm looking for. I can always just hit Command O right from anywhere. If I'm over here and I hit Command O, I can find and open whatever I'm looking for. And then I can link those things together using the at symbol. It's that easy to just come over here and start grabbing things. And then once I do, if I click on this, it's going to show where those things are linked to. So I have this hierarchy, I have this understanding of what's happening. That ease and flexibility to me makes craft so, so useful. I hope this video was helpful in your note taking and note making journey with craft. We walked through some real world examples. You got to see some real things that I use craft for on a daily basis. But all those little things to me add up to this really awesome world that I'm building inside of craft. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions or thoughts or things you want to know about, leave me a comment, shoot me a message. I'd love to connect about craft or anything else, creativity, productivity, or we could always talk about coffee. I'm all about coffee as well. Thank you so much for watching these videos and for being a part of this journey with me. I'll see you in the next one.